Ready na tayo, prayer leader? Are you around? Recap. Okay, Rin. How about the recap? Are we ready hey, now? Excuse me, ma'am. Na, yes. na mali lang po. Oh, please let ang hands up, ma'am. Sorry. Okay. May I know who is this time prayer leader of the day as well as the recap, please? Hi, yeah, Jordan, Bellio. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay recap. Let... Prayer, po, po, ma Okay, prayer, how about the recap? Nandito na ba yung recap, man? Tangob, was it you? Mary Anne of your mind. Okay, Jordan, let's lead, let's have the prayer. Then let's hope to have our recap after the prayer. Let's start. It's already 3.34. Okay, let's us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Riga. Rika, who would like to volunteer? Oh, minus five kung wala ni Abuha niya, wala mag-rika. You really think na wala yung points na inyo yung ana? Anong sabi yan mo eh? Core values ng UM. Anong core values ng UM, ha? It will be part of the examination tomorrow. Let's have the recap. Beverly, Rin, would you like to have the recap? Yes, um, yes ma'am. Ma'am, last, last time po, ma'am, we have discussed about what is painting po, ma'am. We also watch a video, what is drawing. And also po, ma'am, na-discuss na to itong, kung ano ma'am, ways of presenting an obstruction po, ma'am. Maputo ko na remember, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Let, now for this afternoon, we'll have another set of an introduction of our lesson, Leading Visual Arts. This will be part of your examination for tomorrow. Your examination is open for 3.30 p.m. up until 5 p.m. The moment you open the examination, your time starts and you will be given one hour to finish the examination. Okay, is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, po, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. Next slide, please, Jessa. So, given that the definition of arts is the way of life, it's the expression of human beings, it's the emotion of one person, it's the interpretation of one's feelings, one's thoughts, and one idea about the world and the things around it. Today, we will be discussing what is visual arts and what visual arts is different from arts. So visual arts are art forms that create works that are primarily visual in nature, such as ceramics, drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, design, crafts, photography, video, filmmaking, and architecture, and everything around you that you made use of your sight as your sense is actually considered as visual arts. Anything that we see around you is a form of a visual art. Next, Next please. Okay, also included with the notion of a visual arts are the applied arts. Much of industrial design, graphic design, design, and we have decorative art. 
So all of those that you see around you, may it be machinery, may it be drawn and made in your computers, may it be more of a fashion dress, a headdress, anything that you wear to their day, you you anything that manifests about your sense of sight is actually considered a visual art. Next slide, please. Okay, what are the different things that we consider as part or subject of visual art? So we may cite more, but let's have it one by one. Let's start with representational or objective art as a subject. I would like to request some both to read the first one, please. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> representational or objective Something that is obviously recognizable for what it claims to be. Dong, louder dong. I can't hear you. Okay, ma'am. Repre uh, representation or objective. Something that is obviously recognizable for what it claims to be. Two, non-representational or objective. What we see cannot be clearly identified. It is hard to tell what the artist intended it to be. So it is up to the viewer to interpret it. As such, the meaning is subjective. All right. So there are two things that we need to objecti objectively and subjectively consider when we wanted to choose a subject for our visual arts. First, let's have representational. When we, when we mean by representational, something that it represents visually. So something that you believe that represents about something is what we call representational or objective. Let's say, for example, when love is represented by the color of red and you use red as part of your subject, then we may understand that that red, the color that you indicated in your work of art is objectively a representation of what you call your subject. On the other hand, if you wanted to portray a non-representational or very subjective, something that you do not clearly understand, however, it somehow represents something but is vague and ambiguous on your part, that is considered as non-representational, which means that it's upon the reader, the audience, the listener, or somebody who sees your work of art as seeing it vaguely. In layman's terms, in Bisaya, oh, nga na na siya, kung tahay, nakita kag painting diha, abstract. We had our psychological abstract previously as an activity. Pag tanaw ni mo sa mong abstract, murag na ina form dito na fish. However, daily dun fish iyang representation. But your audience told you that it's somewhat like that. So that subject now, we will consider it as subjective or non-representational because it's, it's upon your uh, audience. Kana nagtato sa imong work of art ba? Kumuni lang pagsabot sa imong art, that's non-representational. Okay? It does not represent something, but somehow somebody understood that you have been is actually, but on for it's not clear. Oh, well, I mean now. Ah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hina yung signal dili sa UM class na panina ulan mga ulan ulan dapat dapat sa inyo ha? Yes ma'am. Hindi po ma'am. Tagom lang ma'am. Tagom lang ma'am. 
Okay, Jessa, next slide, please. Oh, don't worry, everybody, because this one is already uploaded in your Quipper accounts. So the moment I finish discussing this one, it's already available. And you can actually review this one for your tomorrow's examination. So yeah, let's continue. So how do we interpret art? We interpret art by, at some point, the idea of having difficulty on how we need things. And how to interpret them is far from being obvious of how we make meaning out of it. It's not easy to interpret art. So, pag naipalit imong mama na sculpture or figurine and you don't understand why your mother keep on buying things and stuff that do not matter in your house, but it's more of aesthetics lang, you should understand that when one interprets their vision or understanding on arts, it would be very, very difficult. Am I still choppy, everyone? Grabe, mura na dyan po mo siyagit. No na, ma'am. Okay na po. Okay, at least klaro na. Let's move on. Next slide, please. If the work of art is not understood, Let's continue. If the work of art is not understood on first acquaintance, it should be read or heard or viewed again and yet again for a constant re-exposure. Say, pasabot, Ana. Okay, bisaya o na to para makasabot ang tanan dere. Pag kung tahay, nagtanaw ka sa work of art, even photography, or even a painting, or even a sculpture, pag tanaw ni mo, Ana, marag dilig kay kakasabot, it's okay. You need to read, you need to view, you need to hear it again, and yet again and again for to be able to understand what does it interpret or what does it expose. So in a first glance, if you can't understand, it's okay. Walay dautan kung dili ita makasabot sa product or output itself. However, Okay, it will take you one, two, or three times and expose of it three times for you to be able to understand na, ah, yung ano na pasabot aning art na yung ano. Ah, more than isa ang meaning niya. And it's, and there's nothing wrong. Even if thrice or four times ni mo siya nasabdan, it's okay. Because our interpretation and understanding of arts matters on how we cope and pace on things. Let's move on. Next slide, please. So, interpretation of arts actually composes of contextualism. Contextualism holds that the work of art should always be apprehended in its context or setting. Meaning, when we want to make meaning out of what we see, Okay, sa isang output or work of art, we have to understand kung sa'y context ato. Asa siya gihimo? Ano sa siya gihimo? Kisa'y naghimo? O nga nung gihimo siya? That's contextualization. You have to know the back. Ground of the art. Excuse me. We have to know what's its context. Okay. Next slide. Jessa, next slide, please. So there are things that we have to remember when we want to interpret arts. First, other works of art by the same artist. We have to understand that your product may have the same way or exactly the same of the others and it's okay. However, you have to understand copyright and originality 
or intellectual property. You have to understand that you might be copying others' work and you need to be aware of it. Kaya nga no, basi kinopya lang. Dilibya na siya pwede. Okay? Next, number two. Jessa? There's something wrong, Jessa? Am I still choppy? Ah, okay. Next is other works. Other works of art in the same genre by other artists, particularly in the same style or tradition. Or a study of relevant facts about the artistic medium. So when we want to interpret arts, we have to know kung unsabay kana bang connection niya to other arts the same way unsay connection niya as artist to other artists the same way unsay connection sa imong work of art or the art that we wanted to interpret to another na baby present and existing to another culture so we have to understand as yung mga relevant facts na pwede na to mo consider when we wanted to understand that particular artistic medium, when we talk of medium, unsay gigamit niya to make such art? Nagpaint ba siya? Drawing ba? Canvas ba? Pencil lang ba? Charcoal ba? Coffee ba? Or it was wooded, it was metal, it was cement, and whatsoever. So as interpret interpreters of art, we have to know what medium was used to be able to portray what kind of art was given. Next slide, please. Also, we wanted to know the study of the age in which the artist lived. We are in the spirit of the time and its current ideas, the complex influences that molded the artist, even the social, economic, and political conditions of the time and place in which the artist worked. Ano ibig sabihin nun? That we un we have to understand Alexa off your mind. We have to understand kanus anisha na himo. Why? Because the time it was made, it was produced, it was finished. There are certain influences that we might want to consider because those times mang god, the idea, the concept, and maybe the meaning of that particular art was in influenced by it. Let's say for example. Uh, the art was given or made or finished by the time when it was about re Renaissance period, the rise of the bourgeoisie over capitalism and the landlords and the landladies. So in short, there will be discrimination. There will be neglect. There will be marginalization. There will be what we call the api among the masses and the ordinary people. So yung reflection nun, if we wanted to look at art, we might see na uh, there was in unjust, injustice. There was uh, unfair treatment from different classes of society. Let's move on. Next, please. So fifth is that, the study of the artist's life. And also, the study of the artist's intentions. So when we, uh, when an artist portray an art, tapos tingnan, tingnan na natin yan. And then we happen to look at it as very dim, dark, and very sad. We wanted to check now if ang buhay ba ng artist yan is also dim, dark, and sad. But because at some point, there will be manifestations na nagsasabi na ang artist yan ay malungkot, Okay, mahirap sa buhay. But somewhat sad siya. So in short, mag-reflect yan sa work of art niya. In short, kana siya na product would tell us and determine that somehow, point, at the life of the artist, he was what? He was sad. He was dim. He was low. He was poor. So, together with it is the intention of the artist. Kasi kung ano yung socio-demographic background mo, somehow it would reflect ano yung intention mo of making it. Am I still choppy? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma 
I'm just checking kay grabe ka dag umjo dali dapit sa mo ah. Okay? Nga basig hinay kay ang internet. Let's move on. How about number seven? Ay, Jessa, next next PowerPoint na tayo? Before I start again, I would like to thank Jessa ha, for sharing. I would like to thank Jessa for um kada bang inatawag na to na fill in sa kuang task dapat ako nung share. Okay. Sige. Let's move on. So, besides that we wanted to consider what are the different things we need to remember when we wanted to choose our subject of art, we also wanted to know what are the different kinds of arts na pwede i-consider nato as our subject. So, firstly, we have landscapes, seascapes, and cityscapes. So, what are these? The things that you see when you go to mountains, gardens, and anything and everything about environment, they are considered as subject of arts. Kung tahay, nag-climb mo. Okay, pag abot na yun sa place, and you seem to be very fond of the place, and you wanted to use it as your subject, that's considered as a landscape. On the other hand, you like seas, oceans, and over things around beaches. So there is as well considered as cityscape. So pwede maging subject mo yon. Also, we have cityscapes. The hustle and the bustle in and out of the city. The lights, the city lights, the... the, 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 the oh my God, do batao. Anything and everything about the busy and the hustle life in the city. Pwede maging subject mo din yun. Let's take a good look of the product titled by Fernando Amorsolo, which is entitled Antipolo. So you see there, okay, uh, Fernando Amorsolo used the landscape as its subject. Sige, next slide tayo. Is this our last part of discussion? Class ka na magsayo ta karon nag out class ha kay nga ni Manggod. Dagang ay og buhaton sa office tapos I need to patch it up. Kay up until 9 PM in town ko sa office. So I really wanted to finish our lesson for the day so you will be able to take the examination tomorrow and you will be ready. I hope everybody will understand. Okay ba yon? Okay po, ma'am. Yes po, ma'am. Okay, okay, ma very good. Let's yes, continue. So, we'll be, so we will be able to finish this one earlier. The second one is still life. What do we mean by still life? Anything and everything that we predict and depict as not moving. Still life ang tawag ato. Puntahay. Mag-drawing ka of something. May baso, may chicken, may chicharon. Tapos they're not moving. A bottle of drinks. Diba? Pag kahuman na, i-drawing ni mo. Anything and everything that is not moving and not in motion when you want to portray it. That's what we call still life. Dili na siya dapat ang move. So pwede na itong i-consider ang 3D and 2D. Anything and everything, dili mag-move. Okay? Oh, thank you guys. I'm so impressed. I Let's move on. So, still life is a work of art depicting commonplace in anime. In Bisaya, wala galihok. Anything and everything that you draw, basta dili mo lihok, automatic that is still life. Next slide. Tapos maso na ito, kakaulan na na dyan, muhinay ng signal ka ron. My God, din ako katiwasan ng gusto ka sa inyo ha. Next is animals. Of course, animals are used as subjects in art. So anything and everything that has life but not moving and depicts the life of an animal, right? the kangaroo, lion, hippopotamus, reptile, mga rattlesnake, mga unsa pa rin, mga favorite ninyong animal, they could be discovered or maybe considered as subjects in art. Next slide. Portraits, okay. You see a portrait. Kung tahay, ipigturan ni mong mama. Guwag pa kay mong mama na sa wall. 
and you wanted to still express how beautiful your mother is. So what will you do? You take a paper, you wrote it down, and oh, no, 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 you draw it out using a charcoal. Automatic, that is a portrait. That is your subject. You wanted to emphasize the beauty, the kindness, and the nature of your mother as seen in a charcoal and not in a portrait. That is still considered as a subject of art. Next slide. Okay, figures. This one naman is 3D. Kanina yung makita ninyo ng mga statwa. Statwa sa inyong mga local government or mga heroes. Makita ninyo sa inyong mga parks or pinipod. Okay, maghimo ka ng mga... Maghimo ka ng mga statue. Okay, that depicts a 3D motion. Kina bang uh, sa Davao. Okay? If you happen to went to Magsaysay Park, okay, na ay statue dito si Magsaysay. Also, if you happen to pass by Queensland, somewhere, Ecoland, na ay statue si David dito. That's one manifestation of figures. Figures are considered a subject of art. Pwede na ito na gamitin. Anything and everything that is figuratively done by cement, by stone, by wall, by wood. Okay? They are considered as subject of arts. Let's move on. Next slide, please. Ay, grabe, Jude class. Gihangak, Jude ko nga naman. Nag-apas, Jude ko na. Nag-um na kusog ng ulan. Mahinay na itong signal ka ng tatawad. Everyday life. If you're living in a provincial or far-flung area and you see and happen to appreciate everyday life of people, locals, planting trees, planting plants, planting in the rice fields, farmers, tractors, or even people just walking around the corner and you wanted to pursue them as their subject in arts, automatically that is considered as one of the many art subjects. Next slide. Ah, history and legend. Kung tahay, ibog kay ka ni Koan, Beowulf. Or ibog kayo ka ni Lamang. Or ibog kay ka ni si Hiro Diri Asaminda, Sultan Kudara. We also have uh, MacArthur. We also have yung sa Visayas, yung Lapu-Lapu. My God. Kanino ng boyfriend ko, class? Okay? Si Lapu-Lapu, and you happen to appreciate them. You wanted to use them as your subject in arts. Then and therefore, you can actually use them because they're part of and considered as subjects. Kasi if we touch history, and then legends, okay? Legend would not be limited to katulang knowledge na to. Pwede tayong magamit nga ka ng outside the Philippines if you wanted to like rumple still skin. Tama ba? Rumple still skin. Or tanan na pwedeng magamit as legendary stories or your legends in your stories, in your literature 1, 2, and 3. Pwede yun siya. They are considered as subjects of arts. Harbor ka siya maulan class. Pas, pasan na to na Next slide, please. Okay, religion and mythology. Mythology is the study and the origin of everything. The beginnings of everything. You wanted to know where the civilization starts. San ba? Cradle of civilization. It's in Iraq. And further developed in Iran and further developed in Egypt. And you wanted to portray that one. So you use it as your subject. Next, religion. Because you're a Muslim and you wanted to portray the beauty, the reflection, and the ways of life of the Muslims. And you wanted to use it as your subject. Yes, you may. Because religion and mythology are considered one of the many things that we wanted to express when we do arts and we consider it as a subject. Next slide, please. Last one, of course, your dreams and fantasies. Psychology may say 
Whatever you dream of is a manifestation of your everyday life. So when you dream of somebody, someone, unconsciously, and you wanted to express that one through art, that may be considered as a subject. On the other hand, okay, fantasies are considered con consciously alamo. We have to know that the, the silver lining between dreams and fantasies. Dreams are ito yan, the things that manifest and are in your mind when you are unconsciously driven. Meaning to look up. You don't know. Okay? Fantasies are when you're consciously driven. Gising ka. Okay? Sabi nila, if you're asleep, Psychology says if you're asleep and something you may have been thinking when you're awake and manifests when you're asleep, that's not actually a dream. That's a fantasy. So when you're dreaming of your girlfriend or boyfriend when you're sleeping, that's not actually dreaming but you're fantasizing. Then if you haven't had a dream with your boyfriend or girlfriend, they're not meant for you Aww. okay let's move on next next slide this, uh, I last night oh, very good a very good example of this last art subject is John Henry Fossile the nightmare okay question so far and so far all right, everybody, your examination is already ready. It will be open 3.30 to 5 p.m. in your Quipper accounts tomorrow. And I have sent you one, two, three, four. I think there are six activities I sent you in your LMS. Please do so. And on Wednesday, I will tell you, I'm not really feeling well. Masi magsakit ko, Anna. So, I will tell you lang kung makaklase ko ana at that time. Ha? Okay, start naman na siya sa ato ang another lesson and then another examination midterm. Okay? I don't know kaya ba si namin meeting Anna and I will be finishing all my tasks in the office. So, I might not see you, I might not rather see you on Wednesday but I will tell you in advance. Okay? Everybody, Study for examination tomorrow. 50 items. Very easy. First 10 items all about, all about UMs, VMVs. Vision, mission, and values. Then another 10 for a brief background about arts. And the rest will be the lesson that I have discussed you last Friday and today. So sayun ra kayo, please lang hang nyo. Dili magkopyahan na eh, ha? Okay, questions. None for ma'am. None for ma'am. None so far, ma'am. None so far, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Jessa, isa pwede na ako ma-request mag-sigug attendance ka ron. Who would like to 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 volunteer? Kasi maka-check of attendance ka ron, please. Class, is it okay with you? We are one hour earlier before our time. Okay, ma'am. Rondon sa banal dong. Ganon karon pang mga nisulod. Ay, tabo do. 